In this video, let us look at one of the questions coming from uh, transport in plants. I must say that I have quite a number of recordings just on the same uh, topic right here on this platform. You might be interested to check them out. So I feel this are uh, part of um, the question or this question um, I need I needed to uh, we needed to answer it. Okay, so here is the question. Figure 4 shows a schematic diagram indicating the movement of water in a plant from the roots to the leaves. So as you can see, this is a schematic diagram. And of course, I must indicate that this part is the root, uh, root part and this is the stem. And of course, this is the uh, leaf part, just for you to know. So this section, the whole, is the leaf and of course this one is the stem and of course we have this one which is the root okay so let us look at the first uh, question here so the first question which is uh, question a roman numeral one name the part labeled p so what is the part labeled p now for the part labeled p as you can see uh it is attached to this cell the question is not cell p but the part labeled uh p meaning we are just looking at the part attached to this cell the cell is the root hair cell now it has an extension and this is what we call elongated elongated outgrowth so this part is called elongated outgrowth and not the tail okay question two identify the substance o so from the diagram, if I were to go back, the substance O is here on the leaf section. And of course, we have an opening here. We can see the guard cell. And of course, we have an opening where substance O is coming out. So that is water vapor. So that is water vapor. Okay. And that is uh, water vapor coming out through the process of what we call a transpiration and you should be able to know how to define that a term question number three what name is given to the space through which substance O comes out what name is given to the space through which substance O comes out so this space and we only have one space here okay so prulo you say stomata but of course, singular is just the stoma. So this part, if we are to consider just as a single opening, then we are going to write uh, stoma. Okay. But I'm sure even when you write stomata, uh, they will be able to mark. But I think you should be able to differentiate singular and prulo. Okay. Let us look at question B. State the term used to uh, refer to the process responsible for the movement of water at points at points L and M. So what is the name used to refer or what is the term what are the terms used to refer to the processes responsible for the movement of water at point L and M. So let us look at point L and M. So point L as you can see is right here and of course is within uh, the cells down there and point M is that one. Okay, so what name? So now at point L is through the process of uh, osmosis. Okay, osmosis. Then at point M is through what we call transpiration stream. Okay, so here it is transpiration uh, stream. And there are a lot of forces that are involved in a movement of water through the transpiration stream. Some of the forces that you need to know are gatation. Okay. So this term also you need to know how to define it. Gatation. Then we have transpiration as one of the force involved. Then we have um, capillarity. Capillarity. Then we have root pressure okay so these are the process that are involved or these are the forces involved in movement of water through transpiration stream so 
question comes where you're asked to define these terms or to describe these terms that is uh, in section b where you are required to write uh, essay so please you need to know these terms before the exams then question c give two reasons why it is beneficial for a plant to lose water at point o so what are the reasons why it is beneficial for the plant to to lose water at point o so now in other words the question is what are the importance of transpiration in plants so when you find such a question and this question they're just one and the same because the process by which water is lost at point uh, i mean the process by which uh, water is lost at point o is um transpiration okay so what are the importance of transpiration so one it enables uh, it provides the driving force for the transport of water and mineral salt from the ground to the leaves and this water you know that is a raw material required for photosynthesis so in other words we can write uh, provides the driving the driving force for transport of water transport of water and mineral sorts mineral sorts to the leaves okay as one of the uh, important so the other one it provides cooling effect so i can say provides cooling effects to the plant so the plant loses water and that water contains some heat so when it loses water the plant remains you know it provides the cooling effects to the plant i'm sure you've experienced this when you are let's say it is hot then you sit under the shade there's always that fresh air that you experience and all that so that one could be as a result of loss of water through the leaves the process called transpiration so quite a number of uh, importance that you can look at okay there are quite a number of importance that you can look at we are, cannot just uh, we cannot just uh, uh, just put i mean just limit ourselves to this as uh, only importance so you should be able to also look at uh, other importance even as you as uh, study or as you are going to uh, the recording apart from the xylem vessel name another vessel found in the stem used for a uh, transport so aside from the xylem name another vessel found in the stem used for transport now this question i leave i leave it up to you so as you go through make sure that you have or you answer this question so be able to give your feedback and of course let us learn so please this is where we get to end and of course if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do so make sure that you uh, click the notification bell that whenever i post the new materials you be notified and for those that are writing next year gce we are enrolling and this is the right time to start november registration uh, starts so to prepare for next year you need to start lessons early okay so if you are interested to join us you can contact or whatsapp the number 0976 402563 otherwise see you in the next one